Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. I miss you guys. Today I'm stopping by to show you how to make one of our yummy treats. I had made a video already of us making both of them, but Addie um, decided to get dressed in her room and unfortunately it showed it in the video and I didn't notice till it was too late. So I already made one of the treats and I don't have any more stuff to make them but we'll talk about them but I'm going to show you how to make the first yummy treat. So the first yummy treat is a pig treat and if you look on the learning plan you can see a picture of it and know what I'm talking about but you can make this in any kind of way you want. Um, today I'm using a Rice Krispie and frosting as my um, spread with some strawberries and bananas, chocolate chips, and licorice, but you could make it out of a cupcake if you wanted to make cupcakes. You could make pig cupcakes. You could get cream cheese and you could make it out of a bagel or a piece of toast. Very similar to our brown bear one last week. And I would do a picnic, but I am um, videotaping a few days early and it is raining out, so I didn't think a picnic would be very fun in the rain. But if you have some different farm animals, stuffed animals or characters around the house, you could bring those to a picnic. And I know some of us can't eat these treats, but we can still practice making them because there's a lot of good fine motor involved and just daily living skills of learning how to make those treats. And maybe in hopes of one day we can all have these treats together. So um, here we go. I'm going to use a Rice Krispie today, so I need a Rice Krispie and I need a plate. Okay. And I'm gonna get my Rice Krispie treat out and just set it on my plate so it's ready. Then I need my bowl and I need some frosting. I think you can buy pink frosting, but what's the fun in that? I just got white frosting and I'm going to put it in my bowl. So in my bowl. I don't need too much because my rice crispy treats or my uh, rice cake's not that big. And then I need some red food dye and just probably one little dot will do it. And then I'm gonna mix it up to make it pink. We're mixing up the frosting, the frosting, the frosting. We're mixing up the frosting with the food coloring. I'm trying to make pink. Pink, pink. I'm trying to make pink for my yummy pig treat. All right, that looks pretty pink, a little reddish pink, but that's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scoop it onto my rice cake like so and spread it. So this right here is very good for the kids to work on the spreading. Helps with a fine motor. They can hold with the other hand. So they're learning to use both hands if they have a hard time with both hands. I'm going to grab a little more. Spread it on there. All right. Again, it's not going to be perfect. Rice Krispies. Or I'm stuck on Rice Krispies. Rice cakes are a little bumpy. So you can see there, I know the quality of my camera on my computer is not the best. but All right. So next I need to add eyes. And you can use anything for eyes, raisins, chocolate chips. You can even use licorice pieces if you want. I had chocolate chips around here. Cereal, if you had cereal. So I need two eyes. One, two. One. Two. So there's his eye. And he has a nose, and he kind of has an oval nose. That's why I'm going to use a banana. And I already peeled this. But you can have the kids practice peeling it. You start it, mom's, dad's, grandma's, grandpa's, and they can finish it. And then my knife, just using the same knife. And I just need a thin little piece, nothing big, so it holds on the frosting. And I'm going to add it right in the middle of my pig's face. There's his nose. And now he needs some ears. That's where my strawberry comes in. So I'm going to cut the top off like so. And then just make some slices. One, two. Again, this is something they can help with. Just this one a little more cautious because they could cut. We don't want anybody cutting themselves. Two. Turn them around so you can see my piggy's ears. And now, oh, he's missing a mouth. So that's where I'm going to use my pull apart licorice. Sometimes it's easy to pull, sometimes it's not. This one I got a couple slices here. 
and I'm going to try and break them apart. Uh-oh, his ears are falling off. <laughs> so pull it apart like so. I'm going to add that bag on, and I'm going to give him a mouth. He's a happy piggy! And there's the yummy piggy treat. Yum, 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 yum. You can go ahead and eat it and enjoy it. And the other activity I was going to make with you guys today was Rice Krispie Treats. And I did make some Rice Krispie Treats. And the girls helped me. And they were in the video. But unfortunately, I had to redo the video. But for Rice Krispie Treats, you just need Rice Krispies, any kind of brand. You need marshmallows. If you're going to use the big marshmallows, it's one bag. If you're going to use the small one, it's about four cups. Um, and three tablespoons of butter. You put the butter in first, kind of on a medium heat, melt it a little bit, add your marshmallows, stir that up till the marshmallows all melt away, take it off the heat and add six cups, one, two, three, four, five, six cups of Rice Krispie Treats and stir it all in, stir it, mix it all up good. Make sure you spray the bottom of your pan so they don't stick. And then moms and dads can scoop them out into the pan and you guys could use the spatula to spread them out. And after they sit for a little bit and get a little hard, I'm going to cheat for a minute because mine aren't quite ready. I'm going to make a bale of hay because you find bales of hay on the farm. So you just need your Rice Krispie Treat. It can be cut in a square like our shape of the week. This one's a rectangle, but you can cut it in a square. And you take your licorice pieces, pull them apart again. Try and be careful so it works. And you just wrap them around. Kind of pinch them maybe on the bottom. And wrap it around. And you could do it across too. Pinch them on the bottom there. So they're across. Addie said in the last video it kind of looks like a present. Or maybe Evelyn did. But they all hay. They wrap them up so when they can carry them. So you have a piggy. And a bale of hay on your yummy farm. So this week is supposed to be beautiful. It's supposed to have some nice weather. So you probably get outside and have a picnic with someone. And again, if you can't make the treat, or you can't eat the treat, you can make the treat for someone special. So I hope you guys enjoy. And we'll see you later. Bye.